everyone. Um, it's Maisie. This is Random Things, Maisie number three. We're going to do a web show soon, hopefully. I just got back from a trip um, to see my friend Quinn and Allison and Laura. That's all that came. Um, and so basically this one's just a bunch of random things because I was listening to music the whole way there. And I was observing it and stuff. And the really famous songs, I noticed a few things about them. So these are my tips. Maisie's tips for songs. I don't know what you will do with them, but they're just really, they make a lot of sense. Sorry, I'm shooting my brother. Sure. One second. Go away. Okay, sorry, um, I'm back. So, go away, go away. He's not going to leave, obviously. I'm just going to move this more over here. Okay. Um, so, number one, my first tip is write something that people can relate to. I said this because a few reasons. A lot of songs that people like, you can obviously relate to. I, I just like that, I guess. Um, my second one is use a piano or keyboard. If you look at a lot of songs they, that are famous, they have pianos and keyboards and stuff like that in the background. And I just like the sound of that. I guess not a lot of people, not, you might not, but whatever. Um, number three, have backup singers. You have to have backup singers. You really do. Because there's a few things about backup singers that, I don't know, they're just... They're, they can make like the harmony and all that stuff. I have that on number like 11. Go, go, go. Use orchestra instruments and rock and roll instruments such as trumpet and guitar. They're very good mixes and I was observing like, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know, but like, just, they sound good together and I like that kind of music. Um, use drums. People like a steady beat. Have a beat for the keyboard, too. Um, I think the reason that I wrote this, look, at, there's my paper. It has, like, a second page, too. Um, I don't know. I, like, my brother just added beat, which messed it up. Um, so, yeah. Um, which one am I on? Oh, six. I would add a violin to it. It's always good to have some kind of stringy music into it to add some rhythm and, you know, beautifulness. <laughs> if your song, I mean, in your song, have something on fire. I know this might not, like, you might not want something to be on fire in your song. It's just, if you think about it, there's a lot of songs where something's on fire. Like, my heart is on fire, or something like that. I don't know, but... Yeah, so, and then, spell something out. As you can see, there's a lot of songs that spell things out. Um, Fergie sings a lot of ones that have songs that sing out. out. Natasha Benningfield, the Angel, that one's really famous. I don't know a few more, but, like, I wrote, like, spell something out, like, fire. F-I-R-E, yeah, 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 or something like that. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm on my second page. <clears throat> Number nine. Model the whole song around the title. Make sure you say it a lot. Um, I don't know why, but you, I, you obviously wouldn't make the title at the end. You look at all the words that you write, and you find the word that you wrote, not and or or, or something like pretty, like angel or pink or something like that. A word that you say a lot um, in the song. And that will be your title. Um... Make sure you keep the same beat going at all times. Like, if you have the, a very nice beat going, and then all of a sudden you, you go on to a different beat, it just throws the people off track. Like, I was listening to a song, and it was, like, going, do, 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 do. You can add another beat to it. Like, it go, do, 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 And it could go like that, but then you'd have to go back into the old beat again. You have to just keep the same beat going. It's steady beat. It's just philosophy. Um, and the last one is 11, use harmony. It sounds awesome. I just like harmony. I don't know. It's pretty. I love it. And it's this. thank you for watching Maisie's 
best things, tips for music. And thank you and goodbye. This is Maisie. Bye.